Hello students, welcome to our channel Plug into Science with Hari and Chandra. So in this channel, we provide you the content of 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, Physics, Chemistry, Maths and Biology content. So we also provide the online classes for all the subjects for of all these state CBC and ICC board. And for the tuitions, you can contact the below numbers. Now, so today we'll be discussing about the 10th ICC biology portions. As we all know that the 10th ICC biology portions have been bifurcated into two terms. So in the term one, you will be having the portions which are basic biology in which you will be getting the syllabus of structure of chromosomes and cell cycle and the second one that is genetics. And the next one is plant physiology in which you will be having the three different chapters in which the first one is absorption by root, second one is transpiration, third one is photosynthesis. So these are your term one portions which you will be getting the 40 MCQ questions from this and the next term two portions you will be having the human anatomy and physiology in which you will be having the four different chapters which are circulatory system, excretory system, nervous system and the endocrine system. So these are your term two portions of 10th ICC biology. Okay, so today in our video I will be discussing about the first chapter that is structure of chromosome and cell cycle. So in this I have divided this chapter into two parts and the first part I will be saying about the structure of chromosome. Now in this chapter you will be discussing about what are chromosomes, who discovered the chromosomes, chromatin and the structure of chromosomes. So these are the few contents we are going to discuss in this chapter. First one, before going to all these things, let me give you a small introduction regarding the nucleus. So nucleus is a cell organelle which contains the DNA in the form of chromatin fibers inside the nucleus. And if you see the nucleus, basically it is having a double membrane which is surrounding it which is small small gaps which is called as nuclear pores. And whatever the chromatin fibers are there inside the nucleus, these chromatin fibers are organized or basically we say that they get condensed to form into a structure called as chromosomes only during the time of cell division. So this is the very important point that which you have to note it down about that. So basically whatever the chromosomes are there, so these are the units which are formed by the chromatin fibers only at the time of the cell division. Okay, so this is very very important point which you have to note it down. And the next thing about discovery of chromosomes. The chromosomes were discovered by Walter Fleming in 1882 and these chromosomes were discovered in the lava of salamander which is an amphibian. Okay, so this is where the Walter Fleming has discovered the chromosomes. The next one is let's discuss about chromatin. So what exactly is chromatin means? So chromatin is the combination of DNA and histone proteins and you can see here the DNA full form is deoxyribonucleic acid and the histone proteins which first we will be knowing about what exactly is DNA what it is made up of. So this DNA is a macromolecule consists of polynucleotide chain. So here it was clearly written it's a polynucleotide chain. So poly means many. Next, nucleotide, you can think this is like a monomer type, okay. So you will be having a many nucleotides in one DNA. So like many nucleotides form up a one DNA molecule. That's the reason why we say this has a macro molecule, which means a large molecule. And if you see the DNA structure, it is proposed by the Watson and Crick, which they have even awarded as a Nobel Prize. So which is very, very important question that the structure of DNA was proposed by Watson and Crick. Now, Let's come to the nucleotide composition. So what exactly is nucleotide is made up of? So nucleotide is made up of three components. The first one is phosphate molecule and the next one is sugar which is exactly the pentose sugar and the nitrogenous bases. So these are the three components which make up the nucleotide. And why I am saying it's a pentose sugar means because the sugar it is having only five carbon molecule that is the reason why which we say it's a pentose sugar and the DNA is made up of the sugar called as deoxyribose. This is said to be deoxyribose. That is the sugar name, which is the pentose sugar. Okay. That is the reason why the DNA it is called as deoxyribonucleic acid. 
Next, nitrogenous bases. There are two types of nitrogenous bases which are classified under purines and permidines. So these are the two different types of the nitrogenous bases. And under the purines, you will be getting a two more nitrogenous bases which are adenine which is denoted as A and the guanine which is denoted as G. And under permidines, you will be getting a three different types of nitrogenous bases which are thymine represented as T, cytosine represented as C, uracil represented as U. And take down this point. So basically, this uracil is present only in RNA. And whereas the thymine which is represented as T and cytosine which is represented as C, these are present in the DNA, which means adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine are the nitrogenous bases that are present in the DNA. Okay, next, the main important question here is, so what are the purines are there? These purines are bond with the permidines. So basically, adenine always pairs with thymine with the two hydrogen bonds. The guanine always pairs with cytosine with the three hydrogen bonds. Okay, now, so most of the times they'll be asking you what is the nature of bond that is present in between the adenine and thymine, the guanine and cytosine. This is the most important question they have asked it many times in your board exams. So the nature of bond is hydrogen bond, which is present in between adenine and thymine, guanine and cytosine. Next, as we discussed, what are the chromatin is there? It is made up of the DNA and histone proteins. So what exactly are the histone proteins? So these histone proteins helps in the packaging and the super coiling of the DNA. That is the most important function of this histone protein. So these histone proteins forms a structure called as nucleosome. So what exactly is nucleosome means? So basically it's a strand of DNA which is winded around the eight histone proteins or we call it as histone octama. You can call it any way either you can say a eight histone proteins or the histone octama. Octama means it's a complex eight protein complex called as octama. So it's a histone octama which means eight histone protein complex. So basically when a DNA strand winds around the eight histone proteins and it forms a such complex structure called as nucleosome. So basically what are the things you're seeing in the nucleus? That is a nucleosome. Okay. Next. So what are the chromosomes then? So basically if you see why they named this as chromosomes means. So in the name itself says chromos means color. Somo means body. So when they stain the cell, they have find that these are looking like some colored bodies. That is the reason why they have given this name called as chromosomes, in which chromos are said to be color, so may said to be body. Okay, next thing. So if you see this chromosome, so basically this chromosome are having the two sister chromatid. So this is one sister chromatid and this is one more sister chromatid. Okay, and these are joined by a middle structure as it was here clearly. Okay, a darkened structure which is said to be centromere, which is the most important part of this chromosome. So they will be asking what is exactly the point of attachment of the chromatids. So the chromatids are attached at a one point called as centromere, which is present in the chromosome. Okay. Next and the last one, it's about regarding the genes. What exactly, what are genes means? So basically if you see uh, the chromosome, as I already said, this chromosome is nothing but it's completely of DNA. And on this DNA, you are having a specific sequence of nucleotides which can encode a particular protein and that particular protein becomes a particular feature of the body. So in simple lines to say, so basically it's like the sequence of nucleotides. So as already I said, so basically you are having many nucleotides are there. So in that, there is a sequence of nucleotides are there. So those sequence of nucleotides, they encode some proteins and these proteins become certain features of our body. So what are those features mean? So basically it can be your skin color, it can be your, you know, body shape, it can be your height, it can be related to even the rolling of your tongue. Like many different types of characters are there and all these things are called, like, you know, these are present in the genes only. That is the reason why the genes are called as units of heredity and these genes are carried from one person to another which means from one generation to another generation by the vehicles called as chromosomes. So these chromosomes transfer the genes from generation to generation.
okay so this is about your genes thank you now so basically guys yeah, so we will be providing a question paper like which will be covering of complete this topic of part 1 so for the question paper we can see the link below in the description which will be giving the 20 mcqs like completely of board pattern okay so if you like this video please share subscribe to our channel that plug into science with hari and chandu thank you